We know what is being transported on our roads and how transport materials are packaged. So transportation is well controlled, the risk is limited and therefore specific guidance is possible. The Emergency Response Guidebook, the ERG, does a good job of this. But remember, the ERG, like most other documents referenced in this course, are guidance documents and not laws. In spite of the relatively low risk, you as a first responder will want to measure radiation levels to confirm if there is radiation present, and if so, if the radiation levels are low enough that you are safe. A radiation detector is needed to identify and quantify any radiation fields present. Other incidents could include a radiography source that has fallen off the back of a truck, a source located in a burning hospital, laboratory, or industrial facility, terrorist activity, or a nuclear power plant accident. Unless we put radiation instruments in your hands and you know how to use the equipment, you are just not prepared for these type of incidents. The assessment of personal safety will primarily depend on the measurement of external gamma radiation dose rate and an estimate of your stay time. That is, dose rate multiplied by your stay time will give you your personal exposure. Remember, specific instructions will depend on the type of material present. How hot is it? Is there a possibility that shielding has been compromised? Is there a possibility of spreading contamination? These are just a few questions that will need to be considered. There is much more information out there. The amount of Canadian and U.S. information available ranges from a two-page poster to documents more than 100 pages long. We're going to try to make these documents available from within our app. Again, there's certainly no shortage of documentation. The references given here provide a good starting point.